Hey everyone, welcome to an extra special edition of our Wildstar live stream. My name is Jonathan Brown. I'm on the NCSoft community team. With me here is... Hello everyone. <laughs> and welcome to the Jack Sheds House of Haunts live stream. But <clears throat> I can't do that voice. That, <laughs> that hurts way too much. Hi, I'm Jonathan Brown. I'm uh, on the NCSoft community team. Yes. I'm and, here uh, to enjoy the Wildstar stream. Sorry, yes, it's this okay. is Kristen. Yes, hi, I'm Kristen Demiza. I'm a senior game designer on Wildstar, uh, responsible for Shades Eve and general housing nerd. It's already stepping all over you. And I know, it's just I terrible. I know, so bad. So today we are going to be running <laughs> through the House of uh, Haunts contest winners, which is awesome. Um, the good news is you guys made it very hard on us. Seriously. We, uh, we gathered together in a large group yesterday over sandwiches <laughs> and reviewed the winners. Uh, members of the community team were there, Carbine Devs were there, Chris Arnold, the art director, was there, Chad Moore. Not that anyone cares about his opinion, but he was there too. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Uh, but it was really fun to go through all the winners. Um, if you don't know how it worked, we have a... Uh, so first, second, and third place for both EU and NA. Um, first place, you got a Panda Snarlfinks, a uh, Sandcastle Decor Pack, and complete set of five funny hats. Uh, second place, you get Panda Snarlfinks, Sandcastle Decor Pack, and Jack-O-Lantern Hat. And then third place, Panda Snarlfinks, Sandcastle Decor Pack. Um, so again, we picked three for North America, three for EU. And that was based on you submitting three screenshots. Um, so it was not us going in the game to judge them. It was purely your screenshot prowess. Um, and there was some confusion, because I think the rule said five. Uh, the blog said three. We didn't disqualify anyone for submitting five. And we tried to be very fair for the people that only submitted three. But either way, we got tons of awesome uh, entries. And we feel like we got some pretty good winners. So it should be pretty awesome to look through them. Yep. Um, quick updates before we get started, though, looking yes. at those. There will be code giveaways in chat. The lovely Margaret Kron will be giving you guys some codes. What do you got to give them, Maggie? <laughs> I don't think she was prepared for that. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking. Uh, while she's looking at what she's giving away, uh, also, just so you guys know, uh, 163 game updates coming out next Tuesday, November 9th. Uh, that's when you'll get all your cross-faction stuff. So that should be a really sweet update for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of cross-faction stuff. You can finally do some cross-faction raiding. Um, cross-faction housing's on the way. Uh, so finally, you're going to be able to raid together uh, and do just a lot more of the game content together, Exile and Dominion. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and then following that week on November 16th, Red Moon Mutiny. So the second half of Red Moon Terror is coming out. Finally get your stab at uh, Lavaca the Dark Hearted and she will be probably very difficult and cause a lot of tears, I guess, right? Yep, and there's tons of mini-bosses in Red Moon Mutiny there's as like well. a dozen, right? Somewhere a, around there? Yeah, about a dozen. So um, if you haven't yet, if you're interested in raiding, please jump on the PTR and test that for us. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great feedback, and we've been working on uh, getting that done and uh, fixing all that up for you. So please don't hesitate to... Uh, check it out on the PTR, let us know what you think, give us your feedback so that we can make it even more awesome. Definitely. And then also, uh, while you're at it, you can go look up the pumpkin carving contest winners. We had some great entries from all NCSoft games. It was an NCSoft-wide contest. Uh, there were prizes for each game, and then there were some grand prize winners, and those are pretty sweet, both virtual and real life. Um, and then we also made a little YouTube video in which I might be wearing a mask that's weird and <laughs> caused me to hyperventilate and fog up my glasses and that alone makes the video probably entertaining and for me horrifying and the source of nightmares. Uh, um, thankfully you're still with us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's a nice costume you got there. Oh thanks, you know I'm a little bit of a ceiling fan. Oh no, Charlie. Poor Charlie. I figured that was the rim shot. <laughs> Rimshot Charlie, it's his last day on set, so <laughs> we're going to retire him anyway. Figure you can take some blows to the head. Uh, um, so without further ado... Yes. Adieu. Uh, let's... Adieu. Okay, fine. Not French. <laughs> I know, but I like adieu. Uh, well, I'll say we're it at the end of the stream. We're not leaving yet. Okay. We're not leaving yet. This is a fair point. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show the screenshots that were submitted by you, the entrance, um, for the contest. 
And then while I'm doing this, Kristen's actually going to go in game and we are going to tour the houses because they are sweet and there are lots of cool little uh, Easter eggs and just vibey, freaky rooms that we found. So she's actually going to run through the houses in the game and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, there are a lot of great things I found while I was digging through them uh, yesterday and today. So yeah. I am looking forward to showing you. Very cool. So we are going to start with uh, the EU players, uh, beginning with... This is Anuni Starborn. Did it auto-scroll on me? What are you yes. doing? That is not Anuni Starborn's plot. I apologize. Why is it auto-scrolling on me? Spoilers! Oh my god, spoilers! Also, we'll be giving away all. Ghastly Skeletal War Pigs, Nightmare Gearox, Tackle Lanterns, Clown Hair, and Road Hazard Headgear if you're joining us live. And if you're not joining us live, you should. Twitch.tv slash Wildstar. Yeah. And I want hopefully some Jonathan clown has fixed his stuff <laughs> in that time frame. Well, I don't know why it auto scrolled. <laughs> um, so this is the first first one. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's just why does it keep it's doing, doing that? a slideshow. All right. <laughs> are, you using, are you using the Windows Media instead of the other program? Yep, that's what it is. Sure should have set that up in advance. It's okay. <laughs> So the first guy we got, what is it again? Noonie Starborn? Yes, this is Noonie Starborn. So Noonie Starborn, you are the third place winner for EU. Yes. And uh, I got a creepy spider going on here. Nice little caverns. Uh, what do you like about this one? So I love the general dragon theme about it. Um, it's very spooky. It's got a, a decent uh, spread of like spider stuff while also having kind of a weird dark carnival vibe in a couple of places and a lot of neat surprises in it too. So, Very cool. And then this is the final screenshot. It all culminates in this freaky little tower of terror going yes. on here. Yes, and we'll be going up that tower. Oh, let's do it. Are you ready? I am ready. Alright, we're gonna go in game and visit Noonie Starborn's housing plot. Alright, so here we are. We are at the entrance. The uh, teleporter is behind me right there. And uh, we're gonna head in. You start in a spider cave. A lot of spooky things going on in here. And it opens out with like a noose, noose, which yeah. is just it's very pleasant, uh, into this spooky forest uh, with tentacles coming out of this uh, lake in the center. And we'll get to that in a second. But uh, first, let's head over here. So there is a wonderful uh, carousel, a spooky carousel here with Draken and Rousedowers. It's great. Good use of the flaming tower here. Uh, we have a little bazaar of sorts with people selling spooky goods. A lot of really cool little vendors here. Of course, the candy buckets making a good appearance. Um, Always have to strategically place those candy buckets. Yes, very important. Um, over here we have the Haunted House Fab Kit in use. Gonna head on inside. And in here it looks like we have some sort of bedroom containment chamber. <laughs> um, not quite sure who's supposed to stay in there, but we've got some, uh, some things on display. A cheese with some eyes in it, probably best that's behind glass. Mm. Uh, looks like we've got a containment unit of a ghost eclu. Again, good thing that it's in inside there behind glass. <laughs> is there any way to make it a little bit brighter? Because it is quite hard for us to see. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot here. Let's see it's what too spoopy. Do. Too spoopy. It's just the vibes, Margie. <laughs> hey, Margie. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> the mouth isn't fully awake yet. That a little better. Still pretty dark. This is black even on my screen though, so. <laughs> All right, let's, let's crank up the gamut just a little bit more. No. So, one of the things that's really cool in this particular place is this, uh, this sea monster. I am in the water, which is not helping. You are in the water. Uh, so there's a sea monster here, which is terrifying, and I'm trying to get up on it, but I am a Chua, and it's very hard to see. <laughs> so. Small races are funny. They are. Alright, so, here's this horrible gaping maw. 
And if we go inside... Oh no, I've been eaten. No way. I have been digested, I am now in the monster's stomach. That's so cool. Woe is me. <laughs> that's really cool. That's fantastic. And the monster has a ladder in his stomach, but we're not asking questions. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Get right on out of there. Yeah, so this is Noonie Starmorn's plot. It's really awesome. That. Uh, I believe a player is actually here visiting us on the Nightmare Gear Rock, which is really cool. Well timed, player. Well done. But yeah, so there, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring it back down actually. There we go. Much better. All right. So yes, yeah, so there is the the ever spooky plot of Noonie Starborn. Very cool. Excellent. So congratulations, Noonie. Yes, you are congrats. Our third place winner for EU. And the gaping maw creeped me out. So you did well. <laughs> All right. All right, I think we're going to jump to our, our second yes. place winner. And I need to switch factions, so give me just a sec. While you are doing that, uh, I will pull up the images. So this is Staxon Pitaros. Yes. Was our second place winner. Congratulations, Staxon. So this one, we just all gasped as soon as we saw it. And we wanted to be here, but it's also horrifying. It's a movie theater. It's a haunted movie theater, which is really cool. Um, and you think like, oh yeah, he did some cool things with the chair. This, that's a neat little scene. What else could you do with that? Well, how about like an entranceway with some old school posters and creepy vibes going on all around? Got the candles, got the nice little wall lighting. and Yeah, it's really cool. It I love is this. excellent. And when I went to check it out, interestingly enough, uh, that is all done in the Haunted House Fab Kit. Like, everything you see there is actually within the confines of the Haunted House Fab Kit, which is fantastic. It's a great example of how you can make use of a small space and really just make the most of it. Uh, so I am there. I am at their plot now. Excellent. Let's go inside. So, this is their full plot. There is some stuff under construction which I am going to avoid, but I'll show off their main house here because it's pretty cool. That is way cool. These people make me feel very uncreative as a human being. <laughs> so we just got a lot of really cool rooms. We've got a kitchen going on here. Uh, there is a great spa back here. <laughs> um, Probably a lot of oils and various things you can use while in the spa. There's the hot spring fab kit being used. Very cool, taurine themed. There are a lot of rooms in here and I'm not going to go into all of them because we want to check out the spooky parts of this. But just a lot of a lot of care was done uh, to, to make this happen. So Very cool. So the haunted Good house work. is just like an add-on to yes. this big plot. So the haunted house is something that you can uh, purchase, and it adds a second interior. And here it is here. Um, and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what it did. All right. So this is the spooky entryway that we saw in the screenshots. Uh, this bar slash concession stand, obviously. You're gonna get your sodas and your candy. Very important. Uh, and then you head up this hallway and open these doors. And you are in this wonderful movie theater. Very spooky. That's so cool. So just, just a great use of space. And this actually is quite elevated, which makes you wonder what's underneath. And this is something that was not in the screenshots and I was so happy it exists because this is a bowling alley. Um, as you can see, the bowling balls are giant eyeballs, <laughs> and there's a great, great use of uh, soul frost tubes to make the bumpers for the alleys, and just great use of vials there for, uh, for bowling pins, so it's framed very well. And of course, the uh, score taking screen up there at the top. That's so cool. Yeah. So good. <laughs> just amazing. 
It is absolutely wonderful. Like, and the bowling alley wasn't even in the screenshot. No, this this was a wonderful surprise. Yeah. I was so happy about it. Um, there's also, I believe, a room behind the movie theater. This door back here. I mean, he already won me with the with the movie theater. But if you would have posted a photo of the bowling alley too, I like, know, right? <laughs> And there's a great, um, just kind of a bedroom slash study in here. Very well done. Uh, an appreciator of art, it seems. Good, good on them. That is fantastic. Yeah, but this is just a fantastic example of what you can do in a small, confined space. There's so much in here, it's just packed. And it's a great use of the fab kit, so. Good work. Also, there it seems to be a doorman that is an errand. Hanging out. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> That's a good bouncer right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm intimidated. Yeah. Yeah, so just a fantastic entry with a uh, small portion of their plot. Like, that was, that was great. Like, it, it impressed the heck out of us how it was put together. So, good job, Staxon. Very cool. Do yep. so you want to get set up for the last one? Yeah. I'll head on over there. So, first place winner for Europe on Jadit, we have Plume Linar. And, I mean, this, this is just classic haunted house style here. Um, one thing we really love uh, and we were really looking for in these pictures is not just how creative you could be with the house, but also the lighting, um, mm -hmm. the camera angle, just anything you could do to really sell us in the vibe just with a few screenshots. So immediately we saw this and thought, you know, this is the way that the, the, the walkways lit up and you got the house in the background, just it feels classic Haunted Mansion style. So we immediately were drawn to it. Um, and then you go inside what is going on in here, Kristen? Uh, well, it looks to be just like a a spooky dining area. Like that particular Orin is uh, the maitre d', um, if you will. Yes, but uh, there's it's hard to see in the background, but like, there's this great buffet in the table back there, and we'll be getting to, to that uh, to show that off. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's that's the spooky dining room. Very cool. And then this one is just great. Yeah, of course. There is an experiment with the uh, the Dr. Moody's. If there's surgical masks on. Yep. And we'll be checking all that out. They're probably doing great work in there. Yeah, I have no qualms about yeah. what's happening down there. Just fantastic medical advancements going on. Yes. All right, let's take a look at this in-game. All right. Here I am. Again, just... A wonderful spooky house. Great framing too, by the way. Like having the the willows, uh, the barnacle willows on either side. Looks great. Yeah. The grounds are all fenced in with the iron wrought fencing. Great, uh, great spooky lighting outside. And I love what people are doing recently with uh, layering different pieces of glass to make designs on the windows like yeah that's really it's cool. going really well so this is something that was in uh, one of the other screenshots they sent us that we didn't show off like this is their seance room and as you can see there are spirits in the air um, as this crystal ball is being activated bring spirits back from the dead truly creepy scene yes whatever is going on in there I assume it's working Hopefully, hopefully that's what they wanted to get out yeah, of it. If that's the intended result. <laughs> There's a nice library slash study in here. Uh, just sit down and read your favorite spooky story. <laughs> Over here is the dining hall. As you can see, the Oren's at the desk here. And uh, Keswick, as usual, is very mad at life. Um, yeah, look at this wonderful spread here that they have. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Yep. Oh, I want to eat there. I know, right? Like, they got they got space tacos. <laughs> Who doesn't want space tacos? Yeah, just a great, great thing. Got all the portraits lined up there very neatly. 
Um, upstairs there isn't a ton, but uh, this is where the Moody's are doing their work. That seems like a totally valid set, set of tools there. Yeah. Bunch of knives. Nothing I'm sure that's wrong. fine. He seems a little confused about what's happening. But uh, he's locked in there pretty tight. He seems surprisingly content, though, with being <laughs> electrocuted with lightning bolts in the face. And something you didn't see in the screenshot, uh, they are taking a look at this uh, Agra zombie here in this tank. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> and uh, a lot of microscope stuff with the strain here as well. Yeah. I'm yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong there. So yeah, just just a great spooky house. Um, a lot of cool little scenes in here. The lop and uh, a dragon. You know what I really appreciate if you could uh, yeah. pan up for a second. You got to have good airflow, right? Well, There's of some course, yeah. Fans going on right there. You know, I'm, I love it. I I do love them quite a bit. Yeah, I appreciate airflow in any house. <laughs> yes, great kitchen. Oh dear, it looks like there was a spill. Hmm. Should probably clean that up. I think it was the lop. Probably. Made a little mess there. You can't trust lop. <laughs> you just can't trust. So yeah, this is the great spooky house. Um, just the surrounding forest and the framing of it was great, and there were some fantastic scenes inside of it. So. Was this one with a story, Jonathan? Um. Because I feel like it was kind of neat because some people submitted stories with, yes. along with theirs, which was really cool. Oh, did I save those? Let me see. <laughs> I can find it. But yeah, some of our, some of our players uh, submitted some fantastic lore stories to explain what was going on. A uh, little, little spookiness to go along with the visuals, which is great. So... Uh, no, this one did not have a story with it. I remember one of them with like a dead person had like a story of someone's wife dying or something, and yes. I was like, "That's your wife? Interesting." <laughs> <laughs> that, that one was was very interesting. Like the story it told through images made me want to go look at the at the plot. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. might have been one of the NA entries. Yeah. But yeah, those were our EU winners, so fantastic job, everybody. Like, those are great plots, yeah. and we had a lot of fun looking through all of them. Yeah, and congratulations to all three of you. Yes. Um, you will be hearing from us shortly with your goods. Uh, we very much appreciate it, and again, we had tons of amazing submissions, so that was very hard. There were a lot of other amazing EU entries, so... Yes. Thank you for making it difficult for us. <laughs> yes, um, seriously. We really appreciate it. We know a lot of time went into a lot of this. And I mean, so many of the things we saw were people were just using all kinds of objects for completely unique custom buildings and uh, textures. And it's just, it's nuts. Yeah. And it inspires me because I'm not creative at all. <laughs> I adore our housing community. The things you guys come up with are just amazing. And so I was so happy to be able to look through these and, uh, pick our winners um you guys all did amazing work though yeah so i think we should switch over and look at the north american winners yes, yes. i will get on that so kristen's gonna get set up in the game um and i guess we could just start with the screenshots yeah for sure so let me put that full screen so our third place winner for north america is lilith killjoy um, and as you can see here there's like a little graveyard vibe going on and it just seems like general up to no good happening here um, you got the gourds and the pumpkins and the candles and the creepy tree very well lit um, just cool lighting all around cool textures definitely like the kind of slow fade from the bright uh, candle lights all the way to the very dark, dreary forest and the moonlight in the back. It's very cool. Yeah, the lighting was really good on this plot. Yeah. So here we get to their actual housing structure. And like any good spooky house, you got eyeballs coming out of it, which is great. <laughs> um, glowing green windows, so you know something fun is happening inside. 
And you got the nice harvest moon in the background. Is that a harvest moon? Can I call it a harvest moon? You can now. All right. I'm now labeling that a harvest moon. I gotta say it that way every time. Uh, just very cool vibes outside. Little shack there. Don't even know what's going on there. Gonna have to look at that in game, I guess. <laughs> And then again, just amazing lighting. Uh, I think that was one of the main things that drew us to this one as yes. a, a finalist was just very clever use of lighting all around. Uh, and not just in the way the shots were taken, but just the entire plot is laid out very nicely. Um, you can tell that a lot of time was spent just making sure that everything had the right kind of vibe. And I don't know, it's, it's freaking cool. I don't know what else to say about it. What else yeah, can you say about it, Kristen? Well, let's get in game and we'll check it out. Let's do it. All right. So this is the actual entrance. You can see the teleporter here. And you have to go under this uh, thorny archway here before you get to what is the first screenshot. Um, just a fantastic lighting scenario. You got the moon in the background there. Uh, it's just beautiful. And again, a great time to get some candy. Yeah, of course. Like, pumpkin. you know, I want candy from these people. Yep. Fully trusting them. <laughs> so, the thing I like about this is that there's a clear walkway through here to lead you through the space. And all around you, you are very clearly in this thorny, dead, spooky forest. Um, there's a spooky hedge. And... This, everything leads you around, which is great. We'll get to the, the house proper here in a sec. Wow. But uh, they also made use of the haunted house fab kits, and I'm getting stuck on pumpkins, but that's fine. <sighs> getting stuck on pumpkins. It happens. It does. All right, there we go. All right. Sadly, this one's not quite done yet. But uh, it's good to see the Haunted House Fab Kid out and about. Got a great graveyard over here. Using one of the Iron Rock gates. Spooky fountain with crying, crying eyes. This is custom, by the way. They're, they're not normally crying. Someone really needs to clean that. <laughs> I agree. That's, I mean, that sanitation is just. Yeah, it's probably off not the healthy. Charts. Uh oh, haunted grave over here. There are ghosts. Ghosts in the graveyard. There be ghosts. Yeah, just a great setup in here. The spooky, spooky graveyard. Got some crypts. Are those yep. crypts? Yep. You got some crypts over here, including the pet crypt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great. That made me sad. You gotta say goodbye to your your loved pets, you know? I know. It's too on the nose well. for me right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So one thing that I don't believe was in the screenshots that I thought was super awesome was this space over here where you have some sort of terrible ritual happening. Um, there are a bunch of sacrificed animals on these altars. <laughs> oh, that is great. <laughs> that is just some good, clean fun right there. A bunch of different ones. And uh, a big ritual altar here in the center. And a pentagram. So I'm sure that's fine and everything's on the up and up. Yeah. Everything's good there. That player may or may not be a member of the occult. <laughs> we are just not like ones to go. judge. Uh, yeah. If you want to sit here and watch the effigy of Jack Shade burn, <laughs> um, you know, you got some nice cushioned hay bales. To sit here and uh, watch the fire. Burn forever, Jack Shade. It's very pleasant. This is great over here, actually. This is the uh, crafting fab kit that has been disguised as this great little uh, shop and house. <laughs> That's so. really cool. Like you can have, you see, the vendors are here. Um, but just great little display cases with spooky things in there. You got. You gotta have your hookah. Oh yeah, of course, naturally. Uh, a lot of skulls and things on display in here. Very spooky. Yeah, I like the display case. There's a buzzing. That. The spider. Spiders creep me out still in games. 
Well, then I don't know why you're on the stream because there's I, lots of spiders. Neither. I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not going to leave, I guess. Okay. I'll stay. We'll head on up to the spooky house. Got an eye watching us. And inside, great painting. I love the painting movement, by the way. Like, everybody that's been putting together paintings with the core, like, yeah. fantastic. I want to say decadent, so though there's like a lot of cobwebs. So that's, like, his own painting that he made? Yeah. That's pretty sick. That's yeah. great. It's like the pop art painting. It's signed, so do. I don't know if this was them or, or another artist, but good job, RL. I think it was uh, RL Stein. Possibly. <laughs> there's that himself. There's a terrifying face on oh for the mantle. I love it. That's that's concerning. Very spooky bar. But a very handsome gentleman. Of course. Staffing that bar. The staff in this house is just fantastic. <laughs> if you're on Yelp, go ahead and rate it. Yep. Oh, wonderful dining room in here. Uh, Again, I haven't eaten today, so this is making me hungry for some sick reason. <laughs> and look, look at this fridge. This is a great fridge. Oh, and there's uh, some fruit. Yeah. Right and next of course, all. space tacos. I would like to yeah. point out everybody needs space tacos. But a uh, good use of uh, the icicles to indicate that it's freezing in there. Yeah. So there's there's just a little tentacle in there. I don't, I don't understand know if the I problem. trust my tacos being right next to strain. I it's so fine. What we got going on there? Yeah. It's fine, honestly. All right. And a good little. Uh... That was a washing machine. Yeah, just nice little laundry room in here. Because even the dead have to do laundry. Of course, it's natural. Another <laughs> another great spooky painting with love, adorable. Wow. Adorable heart there. It's great. That's just beautiful. And. Uh... Couple of display cases here. Nice library. Place to hang out. Is that a jukebox over there? Uh, this is a hearth actually. Oh. It's a chua hearth. So. Oh, this is this is fine. <laughs> I'm sure that having a coffin bed back here does not mean at all that there's some sort of vampire on the loose. Well, he's got his own little stuffed animal. Yeah. How, that's right. How he's bad got a, he he's be? got a little Malverine in there. Yeah. It's fine. Seems like an upstanding individual. He means well. A little, little bit of poison right next to the, the tea, so that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. And another wonderful painting. I just adore this movement. This is a great spooky house painting. With gas coming out of it? Is that what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, and all of these were things that were not in the screenshots. These were things that we discovered as we went through it, so... Uh, a lot of wonderful little touches in here, and in the middle of it all, a nice little Oren themed shrine. The least spooky thing in this entire place. But <laughs> no less awesome. Yes. I think, I think someone has a guilty pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is just a good example, whether you participate in the contest or not, um, you can see how difficult it can be when you're spending so much time making such an awesome environment yeah, to pick this. three screenshots to try to sell us on how great your house is. We're seeing so much more here that we're not in the screenshots, obviously. Um, but again, this person caught our eye because they took very interesting shots yes. with very interesting lighting, and that's what caused us to pick them and then go in and see how much cooler it actually is. Yeah, this is the bathroom, by the way. Nice little his and hers. Uh, I like it. Vanities and, of course, bathtub. Coming out of a skull. Yeah. Yeah. And the toilet. This is a very livable house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, congratulations on that. I'd vacation there. It's just, just a wonderful house all around. And I will try to resolve the choppiness here in a second. But, uh, yeah, in the meantime, just, just a fantastic house. Fantastic showing all around. So, a wonderful job, Lilith. Yeah. Thank you. So that is our third place. Lilith, you have won. You have won the third place. 
I don't know why I keep doing that voice. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> All right. So, so I guess you'll get set up for the next house. And yep. I'll... I'm heading to Flux Paradox. Flux Paradox is our second place winner. Congratulations, Flux. Oh, man. Did the program thing again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me open with this. Spoilers! Don't open this with something else. Don't go to my screen yet. <laughs> Stop spoiling! Oh, I'm sorry. Jonathan is nonstop spoils. I know. Go to full screen and I'll switch. There okay. We there we go. This is Flux Paradox. So just right away, the uh, the topiaries just caught me. Uh, I love some good topiary action in my <laughs> horrifying graveyard slash whatever this place is. <laughs> just uber creepy area. Um, and a little ghost man there in the corner. A little skeleton. Yeah, a little Eclu skeleton. And then this house is ridiculous. Um, yes. Not just because there's mushrooms or fungus coming out of it, but it's all custom built. Uh, and Kristen will get into that in a minute. Yes, I will nerd out about it. Yeah, because it, it's insane Like the, <laughs> what it takes to do this. It, I don't even, I couldn't even begin to do this. So really cool. And then there's like the little angel kind of thing in there. And that's really cool. And just, again, amazing lighting. This one yes. very very much stood out to us because it's um, much brighter and kind of more quirky, I would say, yeah, than it, a lot of the other ones that are really dark and spooky and scary. And this one has a very different sort of vibe to it. Yeah, it had kind of a nice, fun Halloween flair. And uh, we all really liked it and thought artistically, like, there's just a lot to talk about here. They did a really good job. Yeah. So those are the screenshots, and obviously there's a lot more to look at, and I'm sure Kristen wants to geek out about it, so. I'm a nerd. Let's head on in there. All right. So I am here at uh, Flex's. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so this is actually the entryway. Um, you can see the uh, teleporter right here, and there's some ghosts hanging out greeting you. You head through a spiderweb and down this spooky forest and into this little creepy town. Like, this is just wonderfully lit. Uh, something that you couldn't really catch in the screenshots are the fireflies floating up uh, and just kind of giving it a little bit go, of an ethereal go back, flare. Go back to where you came through the entrance. Sure. There's like a little pumpkin with a note on it too. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's just, yeah, this one. This one is the, uh, this is where you get your candy. Um, Cause you gotta get your candy. Gotta get your candy. Uh, but yeah, so this is the uh, this is the little town, and it's easy to look at this and say it's it's a bunch of houses put together. But like making the asymmetrical kind of cartoony style roofs and things like that is actually a lot harder than uh, just slapping a bunch of right angles up there. Like the fact that they were able to get this kind of Tim Burtony style bent roofs thing going on and make it work so well is fantastic. I love it. So how did they do that? That looks to be a lot of, uh, this is platforms. These are the, uh, like the boardwalk style platforms mm -hmm. just put up in a bunch of different ways and using uh, two by fours and similar things to make that shape. This, that's a bunch of little pieces up there. This is done very, very well. Uh, there seems to be a lot being cooked Aww. here. Uh, <laughs> this this will make some people very sad and other people extremely happy. So it really all depends on who you are. They're, uh, just, they're boiling out the shinies. I yes. think is what's happening. So, <laughs> just you know, this this is a nice little bedroom. Um, again, a lot of lop cooking oh, going man. on in here. <laughs> oh man! And there's more more on the way. This is breaking my heart. I didn't see this before. <laughs> So this person really loves the taste of lop like so much. <laughs> These are probably lop skulls. Let's I would be honest. So yeah. Uh, so delicious lop. I guys, you need to run. Yeah. Get out of here. Why are you celebrating? Get out of here now. Wow. You just don't even know what's good for you. So this, this we have we have a <laughs> moose on display in a tux. Some sort of ungulate. Rat. No lop. Get out. Yeah, and again. Get out. <laughs> I think he's transfixed. Maybe that statue uh, brings them in and, and uh, stuns them or something. It's terrible. In here, uh, there seems to be some sort of cult 
uh, performing some sort of ritual sacrifice, the carrot has lost its life Aww. to bring this person back from the dead, at least for a brief period of time. That that carrot had a lot of blood in it. I hope that's just carrot juice. Uh, I think it's the same thing, right? Yeah, I mean, for the carrot, yeah. Yeah. Very distressing. So... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there is a boarded up house over here, uh, with what looks like a bunch of terrifying hands coming out of one wall. It's probably best that that's left abandoned, because I don't want to go in there. I like that it's boarded up, like you're not supposed to go in there, because you're kind of see in. Makes there's... it feel like you're not supposed to be seeing in. <laughs> yep. It's good. Oh no! There's a Moody waiting for me in here. Another medical Moody guy. Just Gotta be scared. Yeah. Taurine waiting for you. There's not a ton in here, but it's really... Oh, no. There was a murder in here. Huh. There is blood on the walls. Something terrible has happened, and there are eyes looking at us from everywhere. But again, could just be care juice. Also, there are people on the ceiling. Well, that's creepy. Yeah, that's very creepy. I'm going away now. I am legitimately horrified. Yep, that's concerning in a lot of ways. Uh, so, up here on this wonderful tower, we find that something has gone horribly wrong here. And this hay baby... Wait, how do you know? Well, um, I'm going to guess from the bloody footprints leading... In okay, so you're making the assumptions, I'm making the you're assumption. Making the assumption. You're making assumptions, Kristen. Maybe, maybe the hay baby is an upstanding member of society, and yeah. like they just stepped in a little bit of tomato juice yeah. that was coming out of this severed head. And that head was already there. Yeah, it was already there, and they're just taking this knife back to the kitchen where it belongs. I yeah. don't know. I just uh, don't want to, you know, you know, I, you indict know, I shouldn't, anyone. I shouldn't profile. I yeah, shouldn't. Exactly. I understand. Exactly. He's a murderer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, this is just, him up. This is just a great, quirky little Halloween town that I adored, and just spooky things waiting for you out in the forest. Of course. Um, moon up in the sky. Like, this was just a great, quirky little town, and a Again, lot of... I love all the little story amazing. bits. Yeah. That's, that's so good. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Horrifying, but... There are things in the well, also. Let's just... I'm going to assume drowning Lop. <laughs> well, probably. That eye is probably watching some Lop drown and yeah. is really excited about it. Uh, this person does not like Lop, but that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just... It looks so inviting, though. It does. And, and then there's, like, murder happening And then there. murder. It's oh actually one gosh. of the dark because I had only seen the screenshots before yeah. doing the stream, and now yeah, it looks I, so whimsical in the screenshots. <laughs> now that I, see it I was all, not expecting like, this. Yeah, this might be the darkest one we've looked at. It's just <laughs> gruesome murders everywhere, carrot juice, and yeah, yeah, just terrifying. So, uh, great job, Floyd's Paradox. Like, yeah. um, wonderful scenario. I love everything that you did here. So, good job. Yeah. Congratulations on that. And I need to switch over to Dominion. Because sure. that is our next. Let me make sure I'm pulling up the right image real quick. And hitting the right buttons. Need to find my actual Dominion character. And in honor there. of that, our new giveaway <laughs> keyword is hashtag Lop Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's true. They don't. They don't matter. <laughs> I just, the little, the tendon to detail, like the previous one was like the, the paintings and stuff, and this one was like, the, even the little footprints, like, oh my gosh. Just amazing little details. Yeah. I loved it. I was so happy when I went to go look and I found all those things. All right. And the are person with the bowling alley, like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, we are ready. ready. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. So without further ado, this is our first place winner for North America, and this is Jason Dalion, right? Yes, this is Jason Dalion. And so uh, when we were looking at these screenshots yesterday, I guess, I don't know, to paraphrase the events that happened, my, my brain meets went all over, um, <laughs> and my eyes melted out of my skull when I saw this, because, again, this is one of those things that 
if you know anything about housing, if you guys submitted for the contest, if you do housing in the game, um, this is ridiculous, making this thing. So we've got a ghost pirate ship here. Uh, this is a nice wide shot of it. Here's another angle. And you can see you got the Red Moon Terror theme going on there. You got the Red Moon flag, Red Moon banner. Um, and it's clearly set to be in an under, underwater vibe, underwater landscape, which is amazing. Got all kinds of ghosts there on the deck of the ship. And then just to be sure, you got some Halloween decorations. You've got the uh, string of lights. You got the wreath going on there. You got some gourds and some undead pirate dudes. <laughs> and again, another Red Moon uh, sigil there. What is that? What is that piece called? Uh, that is, uh, I believe, that is a Red Moon sigil, or the, yeah, Red Moon symbol, um, using the uh, the metal one to kind of look a little rusty and oh, old. Oh right, it's the metal one. That's right. It's the yeah. door piece. Yeah. It's crazy, very creative. So we're gonna go take a look at this one in game because it's awesome. Yeah, this was amazing. It's definitely a different take on spookiness but like when we saw it our jaws dropped it was amazing so you start out in an actual underwater cave i like that it builds up you don't see what's going on immediately just run through this cave yeah you're kind of like what's going on yeah, what like, am i doing here okay yeah underwater lighting all when, right and then you see up here here it is this awesome so awesome the hull ship. of the ship. Yeah. How do you even make a hull of a ship like so that? So it looks like this is mainly made with uh, exile wall and floor pieces um, for the most part. Uh, the Some other wooden pieces, but mainly this looks to be just uh, the exile floor and using that and just using it very well. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's got, it's got some perfect curvature going on there. Yep. Getting up to it is actually a bit of a challenge, so... You're going to watch me look at rocks for a bit? Uh, they like their jumping puzzles. Yep. I mean, if you were a pirate, you wouldn't want your ship to be that accessible. Well, right. So. Yeah. All right. Got onto it. You only want Masters of the Devil I am kind of surprised that there aren't enough, like, guards and stuff like that. Well, there's their fair share. Up here, you got uh, this great captain. Spooky captain with a skull, skull head, uh, flanked by some big burly pirates. But there's just so much here that's fantastic. Um, this is built super well, uh, and using the uh, mossy overhangs to really get this feeling of seaweed and kelp kind of hanging off of it and making it look sunken was great. A uh, lot of good use of the shades of lighting, kind of doubling as rigging. I thought was great. Um, just the mass is fantastic. Using steam gliders as fish throughout the uh, area to make it feel more underwater, also great. Um, so kind of curious how much time this took, but I also kind of don't know if I want to know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this is a decent amount. Um, something else, there's not a ton inside the ship, but I would like to show off these custom-built cannons, which wow. are really cool. There's just a bunch of them, huge line of cannons. Um, down below on another level, you have some uh, people in the brig. Some ghosts in the brig, of course. There's no one living here. <laughs> Every ship needs its brig, right? Yep. Especially the pirate ship. But a lot, of, a lot of things caught up in the netting here, making sure they don't go anywhere. But this is just an absolutely beautiful piece of work. Um, this took someone an immense amount of time to put together. And uh, and especially the thing I can't stress enough too is the fact that all around it is a great undersea cave feeling. You really feel like you're in this <laughs> undersea cave and you yeah. found the sunken ghost ship. So like it's a great uh, macro build that I really really appreciate. Yeah, so um, for this contest, one of the requirements was you had to use some Halloween decor, um, make it, you know, Shades Eve style. And so there was some discussion about, uh, you know, the decor is a little bit sparse in this, but it was, at the same time, it was undeniable. Like, this is a haunted ship, first of all. Yes. Which is very uh, be befitting of the holiday. And then just the amount of time that went into this, we, 
we were blown just away. So much time in just making this and making this work. Yeah. Uh, just, just great, great work here. So good on I you. I can't to see once it. I can't wait to see once it's like fully decorated. I know, right? Yeah. Like, I was just still, still a little bit to go, but just the the macro build of this is nuts, and I really appreciate it. Yeah. So Jason, we're uh, counting on you to continue building yes. upon this ship. We implore you. So congrats to Jason Dalion. Yes, Jason Dalion, good, good job. Just First place fantastic. North America. Fantastic work, yeah. seriously. That was very cool. Well, so those are our winners. The uh, top three for North America, the yes. top three for Europe. And they are going to be up on our website shortly. Um, we'll, sh we'll at least show the screenshots. And then of course, if any of you tuned in late to this stream, you'll be able to watch it on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash wildstar. Uh, we'll be sure to post it so you can take the full tour with us. Because this stuff's just freaking amazing. It seriously is. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, they did an awesome job on all fronts, so. I wouldn't wear a witch hat if it wasn't amazing. That's true. Right? You wouldn't be a ceiling fan. Well, I'm, I'm always a ceiling fan, it's just hidden. Sure, you wouldn't be expressing it. Exactly. On your exterior. <laughs> I mean, it's November 1st and we're still... Yeah, I mean, you know, we're still in Halloween costume yeah, because we cared that out. much. Yeah. So that's just amazing. Um, let's see, anything else to cover? Anything else you want to mention, Kristen? Uh, we can't show off the... Uh, uh, it's true. Um, well, we do have that one uh, honorable mention uh, yeah. that we Wanna can show, show off. I can. Mention? Yeah. We can do that. We can definitely go there. I'll pull up the screenshots first. Um, so I guess one thing we really want to stress about this one, because uh, people watching might see it and say, this is amazing. How come you couldn't pick this? Why didn't you pick this as one of the winners? Uh, this person did not specify their region. So sadly, that was disqualifying. Um, we had some submissions that were late, some that just didn't follow the rules, and it's not fair to uh, pick those people over the people who followed all the rules correctly, submitted their region. But we thought we'd still show this one off to also remind people that that's why it's really important to follow the rules, because you can spend a lot of time working on something, but if you don't follow a few simple instructions, then it, it's all for naught. Yeah, um, this kind of broke our heart because... It's really cool. It's a, it's pretty pretty darn cool. And it's like, another haunted mansion, but it's yeah. like on a whole other scale than we've looked at so far. So you've got the crazy yard out there, lightning striking because of course. Got these creepy rooms inside. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see more of whatever is going on on the ceiling there. <laughs> yeah. It's really dark on my screen, but it looks like a great place to take a date for dinner. <laughs> Certainly. And, and just like this haunted church yeah. sort of scenario. Creepy vibes all around. So yeah. we'll take a quick tour of it in the game. Yeah. I'll show it off. Um, I did manage to and find who it. Who is this again? Uh, this is Ariathris Ratherlore. Okay. Uh, and this is Dominion uh, in North America. Uh, but again, we didn't get your region, so we didn't know where you were. Yeah, we did some digging and eventually found it, but couldn't, couldn't uh, follow. I couldn't, couldn't accept it. So one thing that I'd like to point out in the build here is that this is a great use of the uh, Galarus stone walls for uh, for sidewalks. It's a great spooky looking sidewalk that works really well for this space. Nice hat, by the way. Oh, thanks. It's hat soles. It's really nice. So this has just kind of a nice spooky yard to it. Um, there's a great graveyard out here in the back. And the actual house inside is immense. They did a ton <laughs> of building on this. Like, you can go into all of this space. That's not a facade. Um, just a great graveyard over here. Let's go inside. So there's a lot of good use of the uh, lightning flash uh, windows in here. So, library corner over here. 
Lots uh, of books. Lots of books. Leather bound books. Uh, here's the spooky church area over here with a crazy <laughs> Rousedower flanked. I love it. Day is here. The Rousedower placement is just perfect. It's great. It kind of looks like a throne. Yeah, like a little bit like a throne. I think yeah. It's a throne room. Yeah, it looks like a throne room. Got got some places for people to uh, to sit. I'm just wondering, are they uh, are they like guards, or are they going to be sacrificed? Like, I don't know. I'm curious what's Ma going on Maybe it's there. just the symbol of this individual. I want to know the story. Here is the spooky hallway with cupcakes in it. Spooky cupcakes. Huh. Not, not spooky cupcakes. That's interesting. <laughs> so, uh, not all of these... Uh, rooms are kitted out, and I'm not going to spend the time going through uh, the empty rooms, but um, one thing I did want to point out actually is that there was uh, smoke decor used to make these roiling clouds up top. Uh, that was really cool. Yeah, it really lends uh, a credence to this whole storm thing going on, and it looks so much better in motion. Uh, here, by the way, is that third screenshot. The uh, Oh, floating candles and gourds up top, and the spooky tables over here, with clearly one person sits in the best chair. Yeah, I don't know if you should sit on that. Yeah, it seems bad. There's a sword right there. Probably get mad. But yeah, just kind of a... More books? Yeah, more books. Person really enjoys reading. Um, it is kind of a spooky little hall in here. So this is a great build, uh, crazy mansion. Uh, couldn't be one of our winners because we didn't know enough. So it's very sad. Yeah, as Micah pointed out in chat, it wasn't just region. It was basically any info yeah. about it. Uh, it took us a while to even figure out. Just because we liked it so much, we wanted to at least call it out. Yeah. Um, we didn't want to give you, you some recognition at the very least because there's a lot of work done here and uh, thought it was really awesome. I love the... The angel with the golden skull head? Yeah. Just the golden skull head really makes it. <laughs> Just a perfect little outdoor piece, you know? It really ties the yard together. Exactly. Yeah, you can see the uh, roiling clouds a little better out here with the lightning. Just like really cool ideas and I wish we could have given you something but at the very least for showing you off because it's really cool. So. Yeah and if nothing else thank you for submitting because it was really yes. cool to look at and we're glad to get we got to take a tour of it. Yeah um, for sure. So I think we're about out of time. Yep um, just about. Just wanted to once again thank you to yes. all of our winners and to everyone who submitted like, like I said there were a lot of really good ones it made this really hard for us but really freaking fun as a result. Right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I loved looking at all of the entries. So thank you everybody for just putting together some amazing stuff that we were able to go through and check out. Yeah. Our Hazard community is awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. So keep it up y'all. We like it. Someone told me not to say y'all, so I had to say y'all, sorry. <laughs> um, so that's all for our stream. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to follow us on twitch.tv slash wildstar. Uh, Twitter at Wildstar, Facebook Wildstar. You can follow KDM and me. Uh, yep. Your CRB underscore. I am TizKDM on Twitter. TizKDM, that's right. My bad. It's okay. That's your forum name. Yes, yeah, CRB underscore KDM yeah, is my forum name and my Twitch name. Got one of them right. Uh, I'm Kongero on the Wildstar forums. I'm talking Kongas on the Twitters. Um, and yeah, we'll have this video up on youtube.com slash wildstar soon, and we will also post uh, the article of all the winners on wildstar.com. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, happy Shades Eve once yes. again, everyone. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yep, thanks so much. Bye. Also, Bye. it's, it's youtube.com slash wildstar online, not wildstar. Just let Maggie you know. got it. <laughs> Always there for me. <laughs> thanks, everyone. <laughs>